Hello friends, my name is Akash Deep and I have been here in Akash Institute for my two years JE Mains and Advanced program. Before this, I was informed about Akash Institute because my brother had also studied from here for his JE Mains and Advanced, after which he later proceeded to go to Bits Pilani for his four year CS program. Now he's working as a software engineer. It was in my eighth grade when my brother had told me to take part in different coding and mathematical contests so that I could see how good I stand and if I like coding or not. From 8th grade on, I decided ta on taking courses and learning coding and competitive programming from which I prepared for an Olympiad in India called INOI which is the Indian National Olympiad in Informatics. In 10th grade, I also scored a rank under 60 in India in this Olympiad. After realizing how good I was at competitive programming and how much I liked solving coding and math problems, I decided to switch as my career in engineering in 11th and 12th. When I told this to my parents, my parents were really happy because they were really glad that both of their children were now going to take uh, become engineers in the future. From this, I came to Akash Institute as my brother also had prepared from here and he gave me the advice that this is the right place for you to pursue engineering. I wish to be in IIT Bombay CS after my two years of course is over. Some of the main things that I took care of while I was preparing for my JE journey was that I took, I completed all of my assignments and materials that were given by my teachers for my unit test used to come regularly. The main materials that my teachers had given to me were the targets, success achievers and the success magnets which were supposed to make me prepared for my unit test and keep the concepts in my mind. Even when I was at home and preparing for JE while solving these assignments, I would readily solve all the questions and mark the doubts which I would come back and solve to my teachers who were very generous to solve it and explain it to me. My teachers were really helpful at guiding me through my JE experience and I'm really glad that they took care of everything that I did in these two years. I also made sure to not skip any classes or tests because they were really important to teach me step by step in the JEX process and not leave any doubts or gaps in the middle of my preparation. Other times when I felt low was when my scores were not as what I was expecting because I used to put in a lot of effort during my studying and naturally if anyone who puts effort in their studies would have expectations about their scores. That time I just realized that score is not really that big of a matter and what you learn is what matters for your final examination. Like my parents and my teachers also really helped me and brought me up when I felt low during the preparation times and the final test series that were going on. In my opinion, discipline is a really important thing for anything of that matter, not only JE means for advanced. In my JE journey, I did not have a really strict of a schedule, but I made sure to follow it regularly. In my schedule, I used to wake up around 6, 6.30 in the morning, after which I would go out and play volleyball with my friends. Later, coming back, I would revise for the class that I would go to and learn the topics that the sir would teach me in class. This would usually cover up 20 to 30 percent of the studies that I would have to do for the day. Just don't get distracted from all of the things around you which are not going to be helping you in your study like the social media platforms and the OTTs that are there because that those things are really going to distract you from what you actually have to do and not keep you in the right mind for your goal. In these two years, I think you should really focus on what is really important and leave those things aside because those things are really there even after you qualify your JE Advanced. The one advice that I would like to give to everyone is to not fall into the trap of sleeping less and trying to cover up more concepts. Really, that is just making you less active and less attentive during the day and not make you do your work properly. Sleep is also a part of the day and I think it should be considered really important. At least 7 to 8 hours of sleep should be there for every student so that they are not going to be lagging in their class or miss concerts while the teacher goes on ahead. I had had a great experience in Akash so far. Uh, every time I come for Akash classes, I meet my teachers and talk to them about the journey of my JE going through. I learn new concepts and grasp topics better and have been given exams before JE so that I can excel at everything that I am doing. To all the JE aspirants coming up, the one advice that I would really like to give is just to be happy in the process while you are learning in these two years. Make sure that you are focusing on your sleep, on your health and on the food that you eat during your JE preparation. Don't get into distractions like the famous OTT platforms right now like Netflix or social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram. In my opinion, just make sure that there was nothing more that you could have done and you don't feel any regret after giving your exams and make these two years amazing for you and your parents. All the best. Thank you.